Good morning, everybody. I made it up this morning. It was difficult though because it was one of those days where my depression hits and I just don't want to get up from off the bed. That's why when you schedule things and you plan things, it actually helps with your depression. So I'm like, wait a second, I have something to do today. And it's my last day here in Colorado Springs. So I'm like, you know what, I gotta go. So I got up and I feel better because of it. Garden of the Gods. I'm actually gonna come here in the visitor center first. They have like an exhibit. He said I can touch this, but I am not gonna touch this stuff. That is so scary to me. She's braver than I am. And bears like to climb trees. It's a bear. Wow, this is all real. This arrowhead was actually found here in the Garden of the Gods. Someone must have found it during a reclamation project. And they tell you, as you visit the park, if you spot an artifact like this, don't pick it up, but report its location to the staff. How am I supposed to know what's an artifact and what's not? That looks like a piece of rock to me. I bet you, I, I bet you I'm gonna find something. I'm over here thinking it's a rock and I just pick it up. Ruin the whole history of it. Looks like they have a gift shop here and a coffee shop over there. I'm gonna skip all this. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the Garden of Gods. Oh my God, right now, you can actually see the view from here. Hold on. Hold on, look at this. Look at this. That's what it is right there. I live in New York City. Okay. All right. San Diego. Okay. She's from San Diego. Oh. 31 years. Wow. I can't do that. I can't do that. I wish I could. Did you notice that um, as I'm walking by, perfect strangers, they don't know nothing about each other. The first few seconds of being around each other, they're having conversation. And they figured out something to talk about. They have something in common of where they're from. I don't know how to do that. I'm socially uncomfortable. I don't want to say socially awkward. Well, I guess I am socially awkward. I tend to talk a little bit and then I get uncomfortable. Then my anxiety kicks in. My foot starts to tap the floor. I'm moving my hands around. It's awkward. Who wants, who would want to talk to me? But <laughs> my wife is a complete opposite of me. She is an extrovert. She's very, she's a social butterfly. And so when we go out together, she can talk to everybody. But me, I don't know how to talk to people. And that's part of the anxiety that I have. All right, let's get out of here and head out that way. The best trail looks like it would be this one. Problem with that is, is a two mile one way trail that means it'll be a total of four miles and i ain't walking no four miles okay so let's go ahead and do the easy one the 1.75 mile i hope i don't disappoint y'all but listen i want this to be enjoyable too not just pictures and video footage you know what i'm saying i want to actually enjoy my moments here call them handicapped and whatnot but even they're not having limitations on what they can and cannot do they're here walking a trail with a cane with a walker there's no limitations if there's limitations you're putting it for yourself you can do whatever you want whenever you want wherever you want Training them? Are they puppies? Yeah. Am I um, messing up the training? No, it's perfect actually. It's yeah. Because <laughs> they want to say hi. Yep. Wow. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh. You're precious. 
Are they labradoodles? Golden doodles. Golden doodles. So Cookie, go cute. say hi, your relatives. <laughs> Aww. I think. Aww. She will. She's like, the only big dogs come up to her. She's like, I don't know what to do. They're sitting so quietly. Aww. You gonna do the same? <laughs> I love this place, but I'm, I'm missing my wife, I'm missing my stepkids, I'm missing little gizmo. Especially when I see all these dogs and with their owners. I was just speaking to the woman, um, the owner of the white dog. And I asked her if that was a service dog because it seemed like she would always lay down whenever people would come around. Or another dog would come around. And she, it's actually, he, the dog is actually an emotional support animal for her. And that's what I've been wanting to get for Gizmo. I guess the process is only fill something online, um, get a prescription from your therapist. Obviously the diagnosis would be like my depression and anxiety. That would actually help me have Gizmo as my um, emotional support animal. So I would love to have that. I think it only costs like $200 too. Cause girl, let me tell you sometimes I get so uncomfortable so that, to the point where I need someone to go to. And it's it's crazy, but Gizmo is my go-to. Whenever I take him somewhere, he's my go-to. Like, I have him to pet, I have him to like give me love, give me kisses, <laughs> whenever I feel uncomfortable. And not only that, it actually helps me socially. Whenever I am around people and I have Gizmo, they all come to, they all come to him and they all wanna talk about him. So it gives me something to talk about. So it helps me have conversation and communication with others without feeling so uneasy. So I don't know, maybe that's something I should look into. Maybe um, my therapist can, can write me a prescription for that. All right, let me get going. It is 65 degrees right now. That's hot. These rocks are standing the way that they are is because they were actually horizontal once upon a time. But geographically, weather changes, uh, many things happened to where it tilted vertically. And that's why they are the way that they are. And the discoloration of it, the red comes from water and so on and so forth. Pretty interesting to come to places not only to look at them for pictures, but to also read into the history of it. Everything is the way it is for a reason. Something happened to get to that point. And I relate that to people in general. People are the way that they are today because of things that happened in their past experiences. And that's how we come to be. some steps don't know where it's going to but I'm gonna go ahead and walk it up okay is this leading to anywhere or am I just gonna die of a of a damn asthma attack the trail is still that way but look at this though now this is what I'm talking about, right here. No cars, <laughs> no cars in my way.
the last shot you saw me at, I actually spent like a good 30 minutes there just sitting, relaxing, taking it all in. It was such a peaceful time for me. Gold and natural. See that little specks of gold? That's cool. Oh, awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. If you need any uh, extra napkin or condiments, we'll be right around the corner for you. Thanks. You're welcome, Henry. Mmm, that pizza, though. So while I was sitting on the top of those rocks, I was thinking about my best friend, Cecilia. My best friend of 19 years. Today, the 18th, no. I'll go that bird. I wish you could have seen that bird. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that kind of bird. It's so pretty. Oh, there it is again. No stay. Dang, I was gonna show y'all, but it left. Today, November 18th, as I'm filming this, marks the anniversary of Cecilia's death day, the day she left this earth. She's still here in spirit, though. But um, she died young. I think she died at age 32. When I speak about her, I don't really say what she dies, what she died from. Years later, I thought about it, and I think it's important for people to know. Today, November 18th, a few years ago, the news was told to me that she died. It was like 4 o'clock in the morning. I had to drive to her family's house and give them the news of what happened. Oh. Blue. Again, I'm talking about Cecilia and that bird came back again. Let's see if I can get it without it moving. Is that you, Cecilia, trying to tell me something? The last conversation I had with her was a week before she passed away. It was a 15 minute conversation. about many things, about myself, about her. You know, I love the girl, I miss her. This gift shop is way too big for me. I would like to take a lot of this home, but you know, it's pricey out here. So I have to limit myself, because this trip was not planned, so you know I don't have that extra money to just <laughs> spend like crazy. Thank you. Wow. Welcome to the Geo Trucker, the most advanced time traveling aircraft in the history of the universe. This ship features a central energy core maximized for time travel. It's also equipped with several exterior cameras for multiple points of view. Hey there! Welcome to the Garden of the Gods. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Sorry, thank you. So cool. Kind of makes me want to speed a little bit. <laughs> it makes me want to drive fast. Like I told you, I live my life in like a straight era. I like to follow the rules, but there's times that you just gotta like get out of that box, you know? Get out of your comfort zone. Do a little change. Every once in a while now, I'm not saying take risks all the time because that can actually put you in a fucked up situation. And you don't want to fuck up your situation. God will always take care of me. I ain't worried. I ain't worried. No. Oh, shit. This is like a roller coaster. Y'all ready? Y'all ready?
Okay, now I'm done, now I'm done. Sorry, y'all, sorry. Oh shit, look what I just saw. I have to stop, I have to stop, I have to stop. Hi. Hi, big fella. Hi, big fella. Ooh, I finally saw one of y'all motherfuckers. <laughs> Hi. I'm back at the hotel. I'm actually gonna go downstairs to the commons and I'm gonna get a drink at the bar. Probably a few drinks, two or three. It's gonna be my first time drinking since I've gotten here to Colorado. I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bar, have a couple drinks. I'm gonna edit this video for y'all and enjoy the rest of the night. So come with me. Ooh. Oh my God, yes. Hold on, are y'all still there? I gotta let you go, okay? L let me be. Let me finish editing this video for y'all, okay? <laughs> you guys have a good night. Bye.